Hi again, everyone, for my second instalment in the chatting about Tokyo web series. Today, I'm joined by Hockey Wales and GB Hockey's very own Jacob Draper. Congratulations, you've been picked for your first Olympics. How does it feel? Yeah, it's, um, I don't think it's hit home yet. Um, slowly but surely, uh, kitting out last weekend was, was pretty amazing and probably didn't, um, again, hit home until it's like little bits going up the mountain um, and it probably won't fully fully hit home until I'm on the plane to Tokyo and I'm getting ready to play some games so um, yeah it's an amazing uh, amazing moment and something which I probably didn't think it would come so soon and I'm just completely um, overwhelmed by it really. It's quite a nice new title to have though Olympian it's quite a nice thing to have to force yourself to get used to. <laughs> yeah it's um it's something which I've I've wanted for so long and, and worked so hard for and um again I, yeah it's just a dream come true really and hopefully we can um win the medal and, and come back with a nice shiny gold medal around our necks that would be nice I know um yeah. a lot of hockey Wales fans I would love for that to happen and I thought I'd ask you some would you rather questions so they can get to okay. a bit better so no pressure. Yeah. Okay. We'll see which side. Okay. Yeah. Of course, they're all hockey related. <laughs> okay. So if you're in a short corner defence, would you rather run out or go post? That's a tough one. I think um, I'd probably go post actually because if if the number one runner does his does his or her job well, then it shouldn't come to you. Nice. Right, rely on others. Um, yeah. Well, it's one of those like Clever. you do your job and I, I'm safe. Whilst Not if cool. uh, yeah, exactly. And if the job isn't isn't done so well, then I think the postman's in for a bit of a, a bit of a pasting. Bit of a um, whack. Yeah. Yeah. I unfortunately run number one, which oh, is God. is a bit of a curse um, and a bit of a blessing. Is probably one of the reasons why I got selected. I think. Uh, All the pressures on your shoulders. A little bit, and uh, I've probably I've been blessed with a little bit of speed, so <laughs> it just means I'm a bit of cannon fodder. So it means that the goalkeeper and the postman can kind of sit back, hopefully, and not yeah. do much. Oh no, not that. Um, would you rather take a flick or do a shuffle? Probably a, probably a straight air flick. Probably a flick. There's so many more um, things that can probably go wrong with it. With a shuffle, and it's a bit it's a bit harder, I would say. But um, I'm not so good with, with both of them, if I'm honest. Uh, oh, no. I, yeah, I, I let I let the others I let the 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 forwards do that. They, they like they like it. They practice quite a lot with it. So I, I'd them. rather them do it than me. Yeah. Um, would you rather do a weight session or a running session? Weight session. I absolutely hate running. Me too. I hate it with a passion. Okay, and finally, a home or an away game? Depends on where away. I'd yeah. say probably home. So you can get family family and friends there and a bit of home support. But I certainly wouldn't turn down a, an away game in Australia or New Zealand. Yeah, nice flight, nice beach. Exactly. I agree. Yeah. Okay, now back to the Olympic questions. Where were you when you heard about your selection? I was watching on a golf course. Um, yeah, I we knew when selection was coming out, um, so we, we kind of made plans for when we'd find out. Um, so I, I actually went up north, so I went to school up north. So all my friends, friends are there and still based up there now. So I kind of made it a, a nice... What was it weekend it was on the friday i believe yeah on the friday so uh found out on a on the 30 on a um on the golf course which was That's it was quite nice because I, I i i didn't forget about it i i i i knew completely when it would come about but it was um slightly a bit better because i was surrounded by friends who knew me before hockey properly and will will like me hopefully after after they, hockey so they were the very first people that knew very first people that knew and then yeah three yeah my three friends and then my mum and then yeah and what was the most me. memorable reaction you've had from family and friends since you've been able to tell them um my mum yeah my mum that call was quite nice um telling her that I've been selected she she probably slept worse than I did that night before um she's definitely a warrior but she like kind of cried down the phone and it was it was a very it was a very nice um moment because she you, you, I wouldn't be here without her um and for her to probably be the first person that I told in terms of on the phone then it was it was quite suiting really 
And your journey is very much sort of stemmed in Wales and most of it's been spent in Wales from your community clubs to sort of university clubs. What, uh, what impact has the Hockey Wales community had over your entire career? Uh, I think it's been huge. Um, I think we're, we're blessed in Wales to have a very family feel um, and a very close knit environment. I think whichever sport we play, um, and it's probably made even better with hockey because the the environment that hockey creates in Wales, it's just yeah, it's it's um, it's something which I don't think is replicated very much anywhere else, um, and definitely made the nurturing process of getting better at hockey a lot a lot easier. Um, you didn't have so many judgments and you just played for fun and that's the best way to kind of improve because of the the amount of, of enjoyment you want to train more you want to practice more you want to get better and it's just a kind of a it's just a kind of a wave it keeps on going and going and going because the more you, you get better the more you enjoy it um so yeah it's, it's been it's been quite a while uh I think 12 was the first time I was with, with hockey hockey Wales so it's been Ne oh, 10 years now. Wow. And you've been playing for the senior men's team for a fair few years now. Do you have a favourite moment in a Welsh shirt? Um, favourite moment? Yeah, I would say definitely the U European Championships. Uh, not the one that's just gone, the, the one prior. So the one in Belgium, 2019, 2019, I believe, or 20, 2018. One of the two. Um. Yeah, beating Ireland, that was an unbelievable achievement. I think that's probably the most enjoyable hockey game I've ever played. Um, they, Ireland traditionally have been very, very good. Went to an Olympics, rightfully so. Um, world what, top 10, I believe. They're, they're, they're such a good team. And we knew that to, to stay up in A division, we had to win. Um, and we had to win quite convincingly. And it was, a, it was a very, very good game. And I think everybody on that pitch was 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 the best I've ever seen and it was just an amazing feeling getting that that win. Amazing and um, what about this time around how did your Welsh teammates react to your Olympic selection? Um, I think uh, it was obviously very positive uh, there was there was definitely some some murmurs about before the selection came out I think some people kind of knew I, I I tried my best to keep it hush but when people ask you directly, there's, I'm not a very good liar. So I kind of just have to like, I giggle a lot and then I <laughs> kinda, they kind of know that it's, yeah. it's, a good, it's a good thing. Um, and yeah, a lot of my friends are, are in the Welsh system. A lot of them are. So it's, it's, quite, it's quite nice really to, to have their support and they, they were brilliant. Um, it kind of came, like rumours started coming about during the Europeans just gone. And I think the main focus for, for myself was to make sure that we kind of focused on the Europeans and that the Olympics happened afterwards so we can think about that later the main the main the main job was to kind of stay in a division and and, and perform the best we can possibly perform so um I hope we did that enough and then we we had a we had a bit of celebrations afterwards and then you know, went home so you've literally just returned from the Euros what confidence did those international games give you and most importantly what lessons did you learn for Tokyo yeah, the, there's definitely the experience was brilliant because you um, you're playing against the teams you're going to play against in the Olympics um, and to kind of get a taste of probably what teams are going to be playing like the formation, their tactics, the players um, probably for the Olympics. So most teams, I think, selected their, their squad near enough, roughly, probably before the Europeans. Um, so it was quite it was quite a, uh, yeah it's quite nice to to see that to see what they were what they were playing and. The players that they were playing um, and probably the lessons you can kind of learn from from those games and probably there's got there's very little very little difference that's gonna gonna occur from the Europeans to the Olympics so if you can perform well and kind of problem solve on the pitch in, in the Europeans then chances are that, that it's going to be very similar to that in the Olympics. Now of course you were representing Wales and a lot of your GB teammates play for England how was that? Yeah, it's um, it's a bit of a weird experience. Um, yeah, fortunate, fortunately enough, we didn't play each other. Um, I think that would have been an even weirder experience. Um, but something which um, I'm very proud to be Welsh, and something which I probably wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't ever change. And 
the main the main goal was to was to stay up and play proper hockey for Wales and to concentrate solely on that. So even though it was weird not going to going to a big tournament with GB, it was it was really nice to be back in a Welsh shirt, be back with the boys that I've known for so long and to kind of to play for Wales is is always an honour and a privilege. So it was weird, but at the same time I kind of welcomed it because it was just an amazing experience being back in a Welsh shirt. A friendly rivalry. Yeah, definitely a friendly rivalry. And then since the Euros, you've been back at Bisham Abbey with the GB boys in the full sort of full training scheme. How's yeah. the, what's the mood like since selection? So um, the mood's been good. I think um, obviously selections come out. So obviously the boys who are selected are, are very upbeat, um, and probably the boys who credit to them who haven't been selected have been brilliant as well. Like it's obviously a very probably uncomfortable situation for them they they rightfully or wrongfully have been selected not selected and um it's probably it's probably a hard pill to swallow having to turn up to train and especially at the moment we've been going through some really tough training we had heat chamber ses sessions and a lot of s &C, which has been pretty tough and it's probably that which has kind of the olympics has pushed you on a little bit through those hard sessions but if you're kind of not selected it's going to be quite a hard one for them and credit to them they've been un unbelievable for us um the mood's been really good i think england which a large proportion apart from shippo and i uh, are in have performed really well at the euros um putting really good performances against belgium who were world number one um and a quality side and beating them so as well when Chippo and I come in, hopefully we can add a little, a little thing, a little bit different, and a hopefully stronger, stronger suit even more. And hopefully we can, we can go into the Olympics with full confidence that we can beat any of the teams there because we have in the last two years we've beat near enough every team in the Olympics we're going to play. So as as long as we turn up and play how we want to play, then hopefully the gold medal is going to be around my neck. But we'll, we'll see. We'll soon see. And when you actually get the Olympics when you make it to Tokyo what are you most looking forward to about the wider experience um I got asked this a couple of days ago actually I think uh, I think it's the food hall um Leah said the exact same thing yeah I, th I think it's probably because Leah's been to the commies so in the last Commonwealth Games the the food hall was it was like an airplane hangar it was huge and it had every cuisine under under the sun it was unbelievable and I, I would say that the Olympics is like the Commonwealth Games on steroids, like on a, on a huge scale. So I'm, I am hoping the, the food the food hall is follow suit and is a bit bigger. And I'm a massive lover of sushi and, and, and like ramen and Japanese food. So hopefully they've got that on a buffet, all you can eat. So I probably will, will divulge completely on that. Well, there's pressure for them to live up to your expectations of food. Yeah, well, yeah, there's... Yeah, I've got a local sushi place where I live at the moment and it's uh, it's good, but I've, I've told them I'm, I'm, off, I'm off to Japan. They're like, well, it's a complete game changer. So we'll, we'll see how can I compare. And of course, Tokyo is going to be a pressured situation. It's going to be intense. So I thought I'd prepare you as best as I can with some quick fire questions. And so you Okay, yeah. First thing that comes into your head. Okay, first thing. All right. Okay, from the people already selected, Who's the member of the Team GB squad that you're most excited to meet? I was going back to say Mo Farah, but he's not select. That's awful, isn't it? Um, uh, la, 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 la. Do you know what? I actually have no idea. Probably, I don't know. Who's um, a cyclist? Is Chris Hoy in? Is Chris? Is Chris Hoy selected? I, I don't know. I think because selection's obviously been up and down, so I, I don't know. Anyone. I don't know if it's selection's been released, but yeah. And what about from the Olympics in general? Do you have anyone that you idolise who's going to be there? Um, blimey, you've, you've put me on the spot here. I, I was about to say someone like Tyson Gay or um, a sprinter. Um, first thing you say, Bolt, but I was like, he's retired. So... Um, yeah, I don't know. I, if I'm honest with you, I, I kind of um, I idolise all the athletes there, if I'm honest, because they're, they're all like professionals that they're and experts at their craft at each different sport. So it'd just be kind of incredible to see and meet everyone, really. Um, what about the team that you're most excited to play? 
Australia. Yeah, I've got a few. I went to Australia when I was when I was 16 to play out there. And there's a club, the club I played out for, there's three of them who are in the Australian team at the moment. So it should be quite nice. And they've been selected. So it's been it'll be quite nice to play against them. Friendly rivalry. Again, and they're world number ones. So if we can beat them, we can beat anyone. What's your pre-game meal? Pre-game meal is normally uh, a bagel, peanut butter and sliced bananas. Um, but I'm not too sure if that's going to be the case in, in Tokyo. We'll see. And um, what's the first thing you choose to do on a rest day? Have a coffee in the sun and lounge about. I'm a bit of a caffeine addict. And yeah, I love my coffee. weren't a hockey player, what would you be? I'm a hockey player, what would I be? Uh, hopefully a footballer. Uh, I played football beforehand. Um, and then if not, I'd probably hopefully be a banker because that's what I want to do after hockey. Oh, nice. And just finally, do you have a message for any of the Welsh hockey fans who want to follow your journey to the Olympics? Uh, in terms of following it from now to the Olympics or following it from when I... Uh, Whenever. I think, yeah, I think um, just know it's possible. And if you're, a, if you're a young aspiring hockey player from Wales especially, then know that it is, if you work hard enough, it is... It is possible and I know there's been previous kind of um, thoughts about getting into the GB system as a Welsh player is kind of hard because there's been very little representation and now hopefully there's four of us in the squad and hopefully we can see a more consistent basis of Welsh players in that squad because damn right we're good enough and we, we've we we've got the players to do it. It's just if we, we work hard enough and we fully believe in ourselves. I think, yeah, I think as Welsh players we're we, we like to see ourselves the underdogs and a bit kind of, um, what's the word, like grateful for everything. And um, and I think sometimes that kind of is a bit of disadvantage because we kind of just have, we're just thankful for everything rather than actually going out and getting it and working hard and being a little bit entitled to, to, to the successes that hopefully you've worked hard enough for. That's some good advice. Well, we are all behind you. Thank you for your time. And we really do hope that you come back with that Olympic gold medal around your neck. Thank you very much. Thank you.